Hey gang, guilty pleasure. I haven't played Medieval Total War in a couple of years. Loved the game though, decided just to relax and play it again some, some more. Playing as England because I uninstalled it completely, deleted all the files, so I only had like three choices, as is normal. They've expanded fairly well. Uh, I'm over in, Ru in what's Russia, the Russian area, and the Pope's not real happy, but I've got lots of cathedrals and good religious buildings I've built. Okay, I've got like one cathedral. But anyway, the important thing here is that I'm making a note of for the future. I had... I made four new priests, just because I'm trying to expand the faith and improve my standing with the Pope. Two of them, upon graduation of their theocratic training, becoming priests, were made cardinals. There were gaps. I've done decently enough, even though the Pope's not really happy with me. I mean, I'm at, like, I think four crosses. Yeah. But I've never been excommunicated. Two of them were made cardinals instantly. I went looking at them. Okay. Cool, what makes him so special? God's servant. Well, Hugh the Warmonger was one of the two. 37 years old. As you can see, has six piety. The thing that caught me was that second trait. Secretly female. <laughs> I am purposely sending Hugh down into pagan areas and rebel areas that have like 0% Catholicism to try and find heretics, find witches, and convert the population. Get that piety up. Because I just think it would be hilarious if I can manage to get you, the warmonger, who is secretly female, up with a high enough piety that in the next cardinal elections to Pope, I can hope to get Hugh in there. I think that would just be entertainingly fun to have a secretly female Pope. <laughs> this video may be no good if I can't manage it, but we're gonna try. <laughs> this just required sharing. Just the. I've had my assassins focusing on eliminating all other religious competitors for the posts of cardinals of the Catholic Church. Medieval Total War. Um, I think I know who the next Pope's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not the one I'd hoped for, actually, though. I've got a cardinal who's secretly actually a woman. I was hoping to get her in here. Maybe next time. I made a mistake. Ah, it seems I was remembering my cardinals wrong, and uh, now Pope Lutherius, the warmonger of England, was my secretly female cardinal. <laughs> so there is a female Pope. <laughs> I've got a secretly female priest as well, if I can get her up to cardinal and get her stats built up well enough. I if I can run a string of managed to arrange and run a string of VO2 female popes back to back. Maybe three or more. It'll be a fun long-term challenge to see how it plays out. In addition to that, the College of Cardinals, she has repaid the election to Pope. As another cardinal had died, I believe it was the French cardinal. And has rewarded more English priests with cardinalship. There are no empty seats in the College of Cardinals, and only three that are not English. Which leaves ten English Cardinals at present, should we need to elect another Pope. <laughs> and two of them with perfect tens. Though, well, obviously you can only have one from each faction in the election, so so be it. Probably the three of them. Which means Philip, unless I can get my uh, other secretly female priest up to Cardinal and get stats built up well enough. Thoughts, comments, entertainment down below, like, dislike. 
Now I'll catch you later. Remember, if there's something out there important to you, whether it's up and out face to face with others or from the safety behind your keyboard, get involved, make a difference, take care, stay safe. I am the Articulate Grunt. I'll catch you later. <laughs>